you have a lot of fragmentation um, in, in with mobile devices. You have Android, you have um, Apple, iOS, you have Symbian, you have the Microsoft Windows Phone uh, platform, and each of these is built on different native stacks. So you have to understand and be a master of four or five different stacks to be able to build a solution and deploy it on all these different platforms. Um, that makes the web solution particularly compelling, basically. Uh, so taking a website, uh, making it uh, native, uh, and making it look and feel like the device that it's on, um, and uh, making it as seamless as possible is, is really a major win for everybody involved. For developers, you can write once, you can use technology that you're familiar with and put out a mobile website. So that's a lot of our focus has, has been on uh, de delivering mobile controls for use uh, with ASP.NET and MVC. So you can build a mobile website today. Um, and indeed, there are uh, bridging frameworks that are available uh, from third parties. I mean, there's an open source framework that's available. Um, but our focus is on an end-to-end -end solution, something that we can maintain, something that we can extend, um, something that we can provide support on uh, to our customers. Uh, so that's really what we are focused on. But if you're building a mobile website today with these controls, in just a few weeks, you will be able to deploy it as a native application also, basically, with absolutely no other dependency, uh, no other third-party code, no need to license an SDK or license a support uh, program or anything. Everything will be covered by Syncfusion end-to-end. -end. This will be a very um, particularly attractive choice for those working on um, ASP at MVC, um, and indeed the whole .NET stack. Anybody with experience uh, with C Sharp or .NET uh, will benefit from this. From the perspective of a, uh, someone who's working on the Microsoft stack, um, Apple and Android are going to take up a lot of time. And if you want to uh, target BlackBerry, that's again um, another Java stack. It's not identical to the Android stack. There's another set of UI controls, another platform uh, to deal with. So it's, it's just a very difficult situation, basically. You already have a very scalable, very powerful platform, something that you're familiar with, and you can take that and really build these solutions. Um, and we are there to kind of provide these controls and to support them and also to provide the bridge technology. So this just blows all of that out of the water. Um, and you have a scalable, powerful, very kind of user-friendly platform. Um, you get to do most of your development within a desktop browser, basically. And this is technology that's available today, and you can work with it today. And uh, you get to take that and then really just leapfrog into the mobile environment with that.